Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I've got another short resource video for you and this one is all about SVGs. Now, I've got a few kind of different kinds of resources related to SVGs. Most of these are open source or some of them have like a special license like MIT license or something. So make sure with any of these that you make sure you check the license and that you're using them according to the, the website's terms and conditions. Um, with each of these, I will go ahead and add a link below in the description, but let me just walk you through each of these. And the first two are illustration sites. So you've got this site called Undraw, and they've got a bunch of varieties of just all kinds of different, uh, all free. I think these are all open source, if I remember correctly, uh, illustrations that you can use. You can just pull sections out if you download the SVG. And you'll notice that all these have some kind of accent color, and you can set that right here uh, with this little toggle. And as you see, as you change this uh, input up here, the color input, it changes all the SVGs down below. You can of course search and find whatever you want down this way as well, like uh, business or something. And then it'll pull up anything related to business and you can look through all the different options there. And again, change the colors to fit your needs. They're constantly adding more to these. So this is a great site for open source SVG illustrations. The next one is called Draw Kit. They do have some cool icons as well. Um, and some of their things are paid, but they also have kind of their own license. And they've got these cool packs that are all supposed to kind of go together. So if you have a whole page you're trying to design out, this might be a helpful tool for you. You can see here, this one is free and you can download it as an SVG or a PNG. And it's got 13 different vector illustrations. You see all these uh, that all look the same. They're kind of in the same style, same color. And uh, so that'll help you as you're designing out a site so that everything looks similar uh, on your site. So Draw Kit is a great one. And again, some of those are paid, but uh, they do have several free here as well. So both of those were illustration sites. Now, if you've ever done your own SVGs or downloaded them, you'll know that often you can optimize those SVGs to be just a little tighter as far as the code and save yourself a little bit more space uh, on your network. Now, when people are coming to your site, there's a tool you can run in your terminal, but this is the GUI editor for that. And you'll see, I've just uploaded an, an SVG I actually got from Undraw. And then uh, once you do that, if I can come over here, uh, then you can go ahead and toggle all of these options on or off. So it kind of guesses what you might want, but you can come in here and really do everything in your, in your power to make it as tight as possible. You'll notice here that it, even though Undraw is pretty optimized here, we've saved something like 70%. And then you can download it, you can actually change colors, you can copy the code. So uh, this is a great resource for minifying your SVGs, especially if it's larger illustrations like this. You can of course switch these, toggle these on and off, and then it will tell you how much data you're saving uh, as, you, as you kind of adjust that. All right, uh, these next several ones are all about patterns. So this one's called Hero Patterns, and you can uh, grab any of these, like topography here, change the color, gives you the CSS code up here, or you can download um, the SVG as well if you'd rather do that. Reset it to its original, and there's a bunch of different options they have here, um, and uh, you, you'll see these used throughout, and it's a nice way to get a cool background design on some section on your site. Maze Letter is very similar. This is a font collection, but they've got a bunch of kind of cool, I don't know, uh, trendy, I don't know, bohemian, what is this? <laughs> Some kind of uh, kind of cool fonts that you can use, and they're actually font files, and uh, I'll let you play around with it to see how it works. Um, one other pattern generator site that I've run across that I really like is this one here where you can pick different kinds of things like holes or you know whatever and you pick one of these and then you can change them here and you'll notice that it actually updates live in real time for you let me close down this generator close down the styles here and you can see it over this way you can drag these all around and so it's kind of a cool interface it looks almost like i don't know some retro interface for a computer and then once you get something you like you can save it and then you can load your previous designs it saves it all in local storage and then you know delete it if you want to uh but uh it's kind of a cool way to do it. You can download them as uh, inline SVGs or whatever you might want. All right, next one is uh, kind of the master one. They've combined a bunch of different apps into this one app called Hikey. I, I don't know. I'm not sure how to say it, but you can come in here and right now uh, it is just kind of set to free. There will be a pro tier I think they're going to add at some point, but this combined a bunch of sites. So like this one, you can generate different blobs for your site. And you see over here, you've got all these options on how you might want to style it, the complexity that that might be, and then you can just generate random things. 
Same thing here, you've got a wave, you've got different kind of cool gradients that you can do, a circle scatter, blob scene, layered waves. I've done some cool stuff with this before, stacked waves. Uh, so this is a great way to kind of play with different SVG backgrounds. And they've basically consolidated a bunch of smaller apps into this one. And uh, it's all free here. You can download as SVGs or PNGs. And again, kind of play with these and then randomize them until you find something that you think will look good with your site. This final one is a URL encoder. So sometimes you'll have a, a SVG that you want to include as like a background image for your CSS. And uh, so this is a nice thing to be able to just quickly uh, encode your SVG so that you can drop it straight into CSS or something like that. So for instance, let's say we come over back over this way and we grab the inline SVG and copy that to our clipboard. So this is just an SVG file, just the text for that. I can come over this way and insert it here and it will actually preview it. It'll give me the encoded, it'll give me the CSS. You see here, it gives me the background image and then encodes that how I need to, to add it in line in the CSS. So this is a great little project that I've used before and it's super helpful. You can actually, I guess, shift up the background if it's a smaller SVG, but here uh, this is working uh, just fine since it's a full pattern that repeats throughout the whole background. So these are a bunch of little tools for SVGs. Hopefully you found one or many of these helpful. If you have another one that you use, go ahead and add it in the comments below. And if you like these kinds of videos, let me know in the comments and then subscribe for more like this. Usually I do longer project-based tutorials, but I'm trying to mix it up a little bit more these days so that in between those longer projects, you can get some short little help for some web dev type stuff. All right, thanks so much for watching and happy coding.